Hello, happy Saturday. Oh my goodness, it has been a whirlwind of like 12 hours. We went to Sam and Liam's baseball game through school last night and got in about 11.30 or so. And then this, and then slept like six hours. Woke up, unpacked the bog bag, repacked the bog bag. I got Evie and Inga off to volleyball. Today's their last game and my mom took them. And then, um, got Ben and Roz and Cora and Bo up and ready and in the van, repacked the bog bag, headed to Liam's travel baseball game, which luckily was here. It was local, um, but it was for his travel team. And they played two games. And Jenna had her ACT test this morning. And Lucas has been gone fishing for the last several days. And so he's at his tournament today. So we just were like all over the place today. It was one of those days like I looked at our calendar and was like, this is a lot, but now everybody's home. Well, except Lucas, he's still fishing, but he'll be home pretty soon, I think, like in a few hours. And um, now we can just relax and I might take a nap because I'm so tired right now, but I'll probably end up not because I always get a second wind when I say that. And Jenna's birthday is tomorrow. And so I want to decorate for, for her little family party that we're gonna have. And I'm, I'm going to do a balloon arch and we're going to make a cake. And I'm going to take some really pretty um, birthday pictures for her for her 16th birthday. And, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on today. And that's what was happening yesterday. It was a fun 12 hours with a lot of baseball. And the little kids were so dirty last night, but they were so tired. And they all wanted to sleep in my room, so I said fine. And so all the little kids slept in my room with their dirty... <laughs> dirty feet and then this morning I like washed them all and then and so now the little kids are dirty again from playing at the ball field but we've had beautiful weather and it was actually hot today it was kind of chilly last night at the ball field but then today it was um it was actually kind of warm so it was nice to wear short sleeves at a ball game because when baseball season starts it's always like really cold and then it flips and it's like super hot so I think we're like right at that flip and uh yeah so now we're home and we are just going to enjoy being home and I'm going to maybe attempt to wash the little kids again or just maybe not because they're going to be outside all day anyway. I'll wash them tonight. Okay, well I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday and I will share the videos that I took this morning from baseball. Ooh, there's Rosie. You're so pretty. You went from being at a ball field to being a princess. Can you spin? Yeah. Very nice. Kind of tricky with those shoes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you, what is that one's name? Tangled? Is that her name? No. Her name. I can't remember her name. Her name is Beauty. Beauty. I think it's Beauty. Beauty, yeah. You look really pretty. You look ready to start the day here. Oh, did you find a wishing flower? Oh, mom, mom. What are you going to wish for today? I'm going to wish for a unicorn toy. Okay. Good job. Do you want a banana? Say banana. You need to get close. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
just licking the bowls. <laughs> what are you doing? Now you're ready. I got it, I got it. Yep. It's walking uphill now, it's a little incline. So check out this idea. So you guys know we use a lot of paper plates. Well, instead of paper plates, we're going to try this. So Jenna showed me this idea. These are just like plastic trays that you see like at delis, okay? And these are the pa papers that go inside of them. So it looks like this. And these sheets came like a 12 by 12, but I cut them in half because I just thought it fit these trays a little better. And then inside of these, you can put whatever. You can put like a sandwich or chips or nuggets and fries or even eggs and fruit or just whatever the kids are eating can go in this basket and then whenever they're done eating you can just throw this piece of paper away and these can go back in the cabinet to be reused and so this way i think i think a sheet of 100 of these was like six dollars i think and so i cut them in half so i have 200 sheets here for six dollars and I think those were might maybe ten dollars. So it's more cost. We received a bow shipment from Little Poppy, and these are so cute, just perfect for spring. And the girls love wearing Little Poppy bows. Pretty much every bow you see in their hair is Little Poppy. Like, they, that's all we wear is Little Poppy bows. And they have larger bows and headbands um, for older girls. And then for the younger girls, they have different clips. They've got their larger clips, and they have their smaller clips. And then they have their headband option for little girls who either don't have hair yet or if you just want a headband option. So we always love wearing their little poppy hair bows and they're perfect for every season and I love how they coordinate and they mix and match and these are going to be perfect for spring and I know that you guys are going to see these in the girls hair probably as early as tomorrow. <laughs> So I decided against taking a nap. So I'm going to decorate for Jenna's party tomorrow instead. So I'm going to um, blow these up and make a balloon arch. So each of these has 60 balloons. I think that's enough. If not, I have extra balloons from previous parties that would work. So I'm going to go ahead and start making a balloon arch. I'm using that new method that I discovered a few birthdays ago that has saved me so much time. And the balloon arches look so much better. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a balloon arch um, with this method that saves a ton of time. So you get your automatic balloon pump here and you put a balloon on each of the pumps and you push down and then instead of tying them separately, you tie them together. So that saves time because you're not tying two balloons, you're tying one time, but you're tying them together. And then you do this again with another combo and it really doesn't matter the combination. Like you can choose any four. You can just choose whatever colors you want because once they're up and they're all together, they blend and they look really good. So you have two 
different um, like bundles here. And then you wrap them around each other like this. And so you make, <laughs> you make like a cluster of four like this. And then too long, you have a bunch of little clusters of four. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get our string like this and we're going to just wrap the string around all the clusters to tie them together. We're not going to really tie them together, we're just going to wrap this around to make them just be together. So right now I'm still blowing up balloons so I have a lot to go, um, but that's kind of the process. So one more time, just in case it's not clear how to tie these, is you just tie them together. You just tie them once, tie them twice, you have two bundles of two, and then you just wrap them around each other, you just twist, twist them around each other. It doesn't matter how you do it, how many times, and you have a cluster of four. So that's the first step. Here is all of the balloons once they are in little clusters, both things are pretty funny. And so they're in clusters of four, and I blew up 120 balloons. So now I'm going to get a string <laughs> and just kind of go through them and just tie them together. Okay, and so to sl slow it down, to show how I'm wrapping these, so here's the cluster of the ones I've already wrapped, and here's one that I need to wrap. And so I just have my string in my hand here, and it's connecting all of the balloon like bundles. And I put the new bundle here, and I simply just wrap it around one or two balloons in the bundle, and that's it. And so you can see how fast that goes, as opposed to stringing each individual balloon in the track, like I used to do. It used to come with like a, a plastic track and I would do that, but then I saw this method and I'm like, this would save so much time and it really does. Like I can do an entire balloon arch in about an hour um, or less and it used to take me a lot longer than that. So this balloon arch is going to be a big one, which is appropriate for a 16th birthday. But anyway, this whole balloon arch is probably going to take less than an hour to do. So I've got all the balloons strung up. So next, what I do is I cut the string, and then I add the string to the balloon arch, like every three feet or so. I'll add just like a segment of string so that I can then tie it or tape it to the arch. So we do enough balloon arches that I finally just put some nails above the trim. You can't even see them, but there's nails like there, 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 like tiny ones at the top. And so then what I'll do is I'll get the string that I'm attaching to the balloon track and I'll just secure them to the nails on the arch. So there it is all up and sometimes when I do a balloon arch I put little balloons on the balloon arch just to kind of add a different dimension but this one seems really full just the way it is and so I don't think it needs any more balloons like any more little balloons and this was just a really fun balloon arch to make because um, all of them were the same size and I love the color combos and yeah it will be up there until tomorrow when we celebrate Jenna's 16th birthday.